Hi guys, welcome to our session on learning with Preplus. I am Usman Nuruddin, a Preplus tutor. Today, as usual, we are going to continue solving our questions from Hugo Sugo Mathematics Past Question. And in this video, we are going to solve questions 41 to 45. In our previous videos, we've solved questions 1 to 40. Now we need to take another step. So we are solving more questions. Kindly check through our videos to see how we solved and analyzed questions. Remember to subscribe to our channel to get access to all our videos. Also, please put on the notification bell to get notified whenever we put up a video on our channel. This is to make learning with us very easy. Also, remember to tell your friends about prep class. We are breaking down mathematics concepts in order to prepare you towards your common entrance examination. Now, let's begin solving today's questions. We have an information here. Use the graph to answer question 40 to 46. A graph to show the cost of Gary. Now, this graph is to answer questions 40 to 46. But we already solved question 40 in our previous video. So you can check through to see the solution. So now we are going to answer questions 41 to 46. First of all, let's look at this graph. From this graph, we have the number of cups of Gary that is on the vertical axis. And we have on the horizontal axis amount of money that is in Naira. So it means zero Naira will not get you any number of cups of Gary, but one Naira will get you 12 cups of Gary, two Naira will get you 24 cups of Gary, three Naira will get you 36 cups of Gary, four Naira will get you 48 cups of Gary. 5 Naira will get you 60 cups of Gary, and 6 Naira will get you 72 cups of Gary. So it is this information we are going to use to answer the next couple of questions. Question 41. How many cups of Gary can 3 Naira 50 Cobble buy? A. 38 Naira B. 42 Naira C. 50 Naira D. 45 Naira E. 37 Naira Using the information from the graph, we have that 1 Naira can buy 12 cups of Gary. So how many cups of Gary are we going to get with 3 Naira 50 Kobo? So 3 Naira 50 Kobo will buy 3 Naira 50 Kobo times 12. Since 1 Naira is buying 12 cups, so therefore 3 Naira 50 Kobo will buy 3.50 times 12. So we convert 3.50 to fraction, that is 35 over 10 times 12. And when we divide, 5 in 10, that is 2. 5 in 35, that is 7. 2 can still divide. 2 in 2, that is 1. 2 in 12, that is 6. So when we multiply 7 times 6, we are going to get 42. This means that 3 Naira 50 Kobo will get us 42 cups of Gary. And the correct option is option B. 42. Now we have the next question. Find the cost of 52 cups of Gary. A. 4 Nera 50 Kobo. B. 4 Nera. C. 8 Nera. D. 6 Nera. And E. 2 Nera. Looking from the graph again, we have that from the graph, 12 cups of Gary will cost 1 Nera. Hence, 52 cups will cost 52 over 12 times 1 Naira. That is, since 12 cups of Gary cost 1 Naira. So if you divide 54 by 12 and multiply the result by 1 Naira, that will give us the amount we are going to spend to buy 54 cups of Gary. So we have 54 divided by 12 times 1 Naira. What can divide? 2 can go. 2 in 12 is 6. 2 in 54, that is 27. We divide again. 3 in 6, that is 2. 3 in 27, that is 9. So we have 9 over 2. And when we divide 9 by 2, we are going to get 4.5. And that is giving us 4 Naira 50 Cobalt. It means we are going to spend 4 Naira 50 Cobalt to buy 
54 cups of Gary. And the correct option is option A, 4 Nera, 50 Kobo, to buy 54 cups of Gary. The next question, question number 43. What is the difference between the cost of 60 cups and 36 cups? A, 3 Nera, B, 1 Nera, 50 Kobo, C, 2 Nera, D, 7 Nera, and E, 0 Nera, 50 Kobo. Remember, our solving is relating from the graph. So anything we have to solve with respect to the graph, we get the information from the graph. From the graph, the cost of 60 cups is 5 Nera, and the cost of 36 cups is 3 Nera. So now we need to find the difference in cost. So that is 5 Nera minus 3 Nera. And that's giving us 2 Nera. Very straightforward. So as you can see, the information we use here is from the graph. So from the information, we cannot perform the simple operation we have here. And the operation here is difference. So when we say difference, we mean minus. So that is the bigger value minus the smaller value, and that's giving us two Nera. So the correct option is option C, two Nera. So I hope you're following and you're getting the logic. So if you have any question, don't forget to put it down in the comment section, and I will surely provide you an answer to your question. So now let's solve the next question. Question 44. Mrs. Olu spent 2 Nera on Tuesday, 1 Nera on Monday, and 5 Nera on Saturday on Gary. How many cups of Gary did she buy on Tuesday and Monday? A. 50 B. 96 C. 12 D. 24 and E. 36 Now, Mrs. Olu spent 2 Nera on Tuesday, 1 Nera on Monday. Now we need to find how many cups of Gary she bought on Tuesday and on Monday. Remember from the graph, one Nera will buy 12 cups of Gary. That means two Nera will buy 24 cups of Gary. Now in total, the number of cups she bought is 24 plus 12. And 24 plus 12 is giving us 36. So that means in total, in total, Mrs. Olu bought 36 cups of Gary. The correct option is option E, 36 cups of Gary. Now we have the last question for today's video. These questions that we are solving here are quite easy and straightforward because what we just need to do is get our information from the graph. Then if there is need to perform any operation, we simply perform it. But if there is none, we just simply pick our answer from the graph. I hope that was easy. So let's look at the next question, which is going to be the last question here. Question number 45. What is the average number of cups of Gary which Mrs. Olu bought on those days? Remember, Mrs. Olu spent two Nera on Tuesday, one Nera on Monday, and five Nera on Saturday. With this amount spent, we need to find the average number of cups of Gary Mrs. Olu bought on those days. A. 18 B. 45 C. 96 D. 32 Then E. 60 From the graph, 1 Nera will buy 12 cups, 2 Nera will buy 24 cups, 5 Nera will buy 60 cups. Now, to get average, it means we are going to sum up the number of cups by 3 because we have 3 different days here. On Monday, she bought 12 cups of Gary. On Tuesday, she bought 24 cups. And on Saturday, she bought 60 cups. Now, the average is going to be 12 plus 24 plus 60 divided by 3 because we have 3 days here. Now, when we add 12 plus 24, that is 36. 36 plus 60, that is giving us 96. So at this point, we have 96 divided by 3. Now, we divide. 3 in 3, that is 1. 3 in 96, that is giving us 32. That is 3 in 9, 
3. 3 in 6, 2. So we have 32. So this means that the average number of cups bought by Mrs. Olu is 32. The correct option is option D, 32. Very easy. When you have questions that are relating to graph, all you just need to do is check your information properly from the graph. Then, using the information from the graph, you will be able to answer all the questions that follows. So I hope you find this easy and interesting. Remember to always put down your question in the comment section so we can know how well you understand the concepts. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. Learning with Preplus is always easy and fun. So, always check our channel to see our videos so that you can keep learning from us. Thank you very much for your time today. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.